After years of fan anticipation, the official Obi-Wan Kenobi series is finally coming to Disney+. Plus. If you need a quick refresher on the entire history of Obi-Wan in the Star Wars canon, don't worry, this video has you covered. Chronologically, we are first introduced to Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Obi-Wan is a Padawan apprentice of the Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn. The pair rescue Padme Amidala, the teenage queen of Naboo, a planet currently under a blockade by the Corrupt Trade Federation. The group are attacked during their escape and forced to land their damaged ship on the planet Tatooine. While there, they meet a nine-year-old slave named Anakin Skywalker, whom Qui-Gon believes to be the prophesied Chosen One, a Jedi that would bring balance to the Force. The group takes the boy in as they travel back to Naboo to assist in defeating the Trade Federation. On Naboo, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan are confronted by Darth Maul, a highly skilled Sith Lord of the Dark Side. Maul mortally wounds Qui-Gon, but is ultimately defeated by Obi-Wan, who cuts him in half. Obi-Wan promises to fulfill his master Qui-Gon's dying wish, to train Anakin as a Jedi. Jedi Master Yoda promotes Obi-Wan to Jedi Knight and allows him to train Anakin as a Padawan. In Episode 2 Attack of the Clones, 10 years have passed and Anakin has grown to be incredibly powerful in the Force under Obi-Wan's tutelage, but also begins pushing back against the Jedi Order's stricter beliefs. When Padme, now a senator, is the target of an assassination attempt, Anakin is sent away with her to protect her. The two fall in love, which is forbidden by the Jedi. Meanwhile, Obi-Wan attempts to uncover the conspiracy behind the assassination plot. He learns that the Republic has secretly created a massive clone army made in the template of famed bounty hunter Jango Fett. Obi-Wan then discovers that Jango was involved in the assassination plot, having been hired by Count Dooku, the Jedi-turned-Sith, former master of Qui-Gon Jinn. The Jedi and the clone army team up to fight Dooku and his army of droids. The ensuing fight sees the death of Jango, but Dooku manages to escape. In the Clone Wars animated series, we learn a lot more about the adventures and life of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan is made a general of the Republic's Grand Army, going on many missions with his partner and best friend, Anakin Skywalker. Obi-Wan's second in command is Clone Trooper Commander Cody. During the Clone Wars, Obi-Wan's old enemy Darth Maul re-emerges looking for revenge. Obi-Wan and Darth Maul face each other multiple times in Maul's quest for revenge, and eventually Maul murders the Mandalorian Satine Kryze, ruler of Mandalore, sister of Bo-Katan, and former lover of Obi-Wan. Satine and Obi-Wan had formed a relationship when he was just a Padawan, but both decided to end the relationship to pursue their paths as Mandalorian and Jedi, respectively. In Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, more years have passed, and Obi-Wan has now been made a Jedi Master. Anakin was now a Jedi Knight and Obi-Wan's partner and best friend. The two go on a mission to rescue the kidnapped Supreme Chancellor Palpatine from Separatist Commander General Grievous and Count Dooku. Obi-Wan and Anakin fight Dooku, with Anakin eventually killing the Sith Lord in cold blood at Palpatine's command. But it turns out Supreme Chancellor Palpatine was actually the Sith Lord Darth Sidious, secretly the mastermind behind the entire war. Palpatine activates Order 66, which forced all clone troopers to turn on the Jedi, slaughtering most of them, including the young Padawans at the Jedi Temple. Obi-Wan manages to survive the attack and reunites with Master Yoda. Obi-Wan is then heartbroken to discover that Anakin had led the attack against the Jedi Temple after being corrupted and turned to the dark side to join as Sidious's Sith apprentice Darth Vader. Anakin and Padme had continued their romance in secret, and Padme became pregnant. Anakin was cursed with visions of Padme dying during childbirth, which Sidious said only he had the power of preventing. Yoda goes after Sidious while ordering Obi-Wan to go after Vader. Obi-Wan and Padme confront Anakin on the volcanic planet of Mustafar, where Anakin accuses them of conspiring to kill him. In a fit of rage, Anakin uses the Force to strangle Padme until she falls unconscious. Obi-Wan then attacks Anakin and the former friends engage in a duel to the death. Ultimately, Obi-Wan gets the upper hand, cutting off Anakin's legs and left arm. Obi-Wan takes his former Padawan's lightsaber before leaving him to die. Obi-Wan leaves the planet with the unconscious Padme, unaware that Anakin is rescued and reconstructed by Sidious, fully becoming Darth Vader. Padme dies giving birth to twins, Luke and Leia. Leia is adopted by Senator Bail Organa, while Obi-Wan delivers Luke to Anakin's stepbrother Owen Lars and his wife Beru on Tatooine. 
Owen and Baru would raise Luke in secret while Obi-Wan changed his name to Ben and lived in exile, watching over the boy until he was ready to challenge Darth Sidious and his evil galactic empire. And it's sometime after this that the Obi-Wan Kenobi series is set, but obviously that's not the end of the story as we currently know it. In Star Wars Rebels, Obi-Wan's old nemesis Darth Maul finds the Jedi living on Tatooine, and the two have their final battle, resulting in Obi-Wan finally killing the Sith Lord. During this time, Darth Sidious also forms the Order of the Inquisitors, who look to play a large role in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. They are an order of former Jedi that work under Darth Vader, with their primary objective being to hunt down and kill the Jedi survivors of Order 66. Throughout Star Wars Rebels, the Inquisitors have many confrontations with Jedi characters, like Ahsoka Tano and Ezra Bridger. And in the game Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Knight Cal Kestis helps stop Darth Vader and the Inquisitors from obtaining a holocron that would lead them to Force-sensitive children. In Star Wars A New Hope, Luke Skywalker is entering adulthood and gets pulled into the plot of joining the Rebel Alliance to take down the evil Galactic Empire. He finds the droid R2-D2 which contains plans for the Galactic Empire's super weapon the Death Star, and a message from Princess Leia Organa, who Luke doesn't know is his sister, to deliver the plans to the Rebel Alliance. Obi-Wan comes out of hiding to assist Luke, revealing that he was a Jedi. He gives Luke his father's lightsaber, telling the boy his father was killed by Darth Vader. After Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru are killed by stormtroopers, Obi-Wan and Luke flee Tatooine to join the rebels and commence their Jedi training. Along the way, the pair make new allies in Han Solo, Chewbacca, and Princess Leia, but the group are eventually confronted by Darth Vader aboard the Death Star. Obi-Wan and Darth Vader enter into a lightsaber duel, giving Luke and his allies time to escape. Ultimately, Darth Vader kills Obi-Wan. In death, Obi-Wan Kenobi becomes one with the Force, allowing him to continue guiding Luke Skywalker as a ghost. He sends Luke to Master Yoda to continue his Jedi training. Upon the training's completion, the old and frail Yoda dies, and also becomes one with the Force. Luke eventually uncovers the truth about Darth Vader being his father. Believing that the good Anakin was still somewhere inside Vader, Luke refuses to kill him. When the Emperor begins torturing Luke, Vader finally has a change of heart, killing the Emperor to save his son, but mortally wounding himself in the process. The redeemed Anakin Skywalker dies peacefully in Luke's arms, and the evil Galactic Empire is defeated. As the Rebels celebrate their victory, the Force ghosts of Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Yoda are reunited and watch over Luke. And that's everything you need to know before watching the Obi-Wan Kenobi series on Disney+. Plus. Let me know some of your favorite moments from the entire history of Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Star Wars lore, and what are you most looking forward to seeing adapted in the live action series. Like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to this channel for more content like it, and that does it for me in this video, but I'll see you in the next one.